across your here and today we're going to have a go with the new Titleist Pro V1s and the new Titleist Pro V1X. So let's have a go with these balls and see what it's all about. So got new boxes on these two balls, slightly different design in the box. We've got some different branding here on the front. So you see the Pro V1X branding a bit more predominant on the front of the sleeve. So what's Titleist saying we got new for the new Pro V1 and Pro V1X or well, new box? Whoopie do. Um, we've got um, Titleist is saying with these two balls that um, they've changed the dimple pattern slightly on both balls to try and maximise their distance and fly and stop and the rest of so all the things you'd expect the Pro V1 and Pro V1X to do. Um, which you've got new performance they're saying with these balls. The other thing that Titleist is saying, which is quite interesting, is that they're arguing maybe that lots of us are using the wrong Pro V1. So where most of us use the Pro V1 golf ball, um, who use this range of balls, they're saying maybe we should start thinking about using the Pro V1X a bit more. And the reason they're saying this is in their testing of the new ball, what they found out or they've discovered in the development of the new dimple patterns and what have you, is that the Pro V1X is basically spinning less. So that's good for people who are hitting the ball a bit offline, spinning the ball left and right, so those kind of things offline. The Pro V1X arguably will go a little bit straighter than the Pro V1. They're also saying that the Pro V1X goes out a little higher, so it tops out a little bit higher. Obviously that's good for guys who are looking, or girls who are looking for a bit more distance. It's going to give you that little bit more carry. So Titleist are actually saying, look, where everyone's using Titleist Pro V1, maybe you should start thinking about the Pro V1X, because on performance, Pro V1X for lots of golfers is going to perform a little better, a bit further, less offline, and that's only a good thing. Um, also, they're saying obviously the biggest difference with the two balls that they're realizing is that this feels softer. Pro V1 feels softer than the X. But on their tests around greens and at their, you know, their performance centers and what have you, they're, think, they're saying that the, the stop qualities of both balls, the way the ball stops on the green, is almost identical. There's next to no differences. So, what they're saying is people buying Pro V1 on feel and Pro V1X is a little harder feeling, so they're saying people aren't maybe buying it as much. But they're saying on performance, Pro V1X is arguably performing a little bit better. So that's quite interesting. They're saying golf tournaments aren't won because the ball felt nice. Golf tournaments are uh, being won because the ball performed better. So look, that's quite an interesting one from Titus. I mean, I've always used Pro V1. I've never really thought of using the X so much. So let's give the new ball a hit. Let's see what it feels like and uh, let you guys know what it's all about. So here we go, let's give it a wallet. Let's get a Pro V1X out here. And a Pro V1. I mean, I've used Titleist Golf Balls um, pretty much all my life, to be honest. I've maybe tried others, but I've always used the Titleist. Um, I think lots of us have. And I do like the Pro V1, so the new ball is quite an interesting development. See if it's actually any better. Um, so let's give the Pro V1 a hit to start us off. Okay, feels nice and it feels arguably similar to the ones I've always used. Okay, and this is the X, let's give the Pro V1X a little hit as well. Okay, that's quite interesting, that looks a little higher. But maybe the way I'm here, it's quite a windy day today, I've gone up in the wind. Um, the X definitely feels firmer off the face. Um, I mean, that's the big difference for me, which has always steered me more away from the X. Is the X does feel a bit firmer, so you've got Pro V1 with the black number, X with the red number, there's the big uh, difference on the ball. Both balls are coming with the smart line-up line, which Tyler's have made kind of standard really now, golf balls. Um, look, both balls feel great, Pro V1, Pro V1X, I like what they're saying about the X, I'm certainly going to give it a get, bit more of a go. Uh, this year I'm going to test it on the greens to see if it is stopping as well as the Pro V1 for me um, but it's going to go a bit further and less offline I mean I can't see a reason of not trying the X over the Pro V1 look guys let me know what you're using let me know if you've tried both if you've no noticed any difference post any comments below and uh, I'll be interested to hear what you guys got to say about the new Titleist Pro V1 range thanks for watching